Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. In this video, I will show you a little bit of my visit today to one of my favorite comic book shops of all time. And I would argue one of the best comic book shops ever in the history of comic book shops. This is one of the best. It's St. Louis Comics. And if you're in the St. Louis area, I would just say go visit. If you're traveling through St. Louis or near the Midwest, make a stop at STL Comics. You will not be disappointed. And I almost guarantee that if you you made a special trip to St. Louis just to visit STL Comics, you'd probably not be disappointed. The shop's incredible. Hopefully you guys are excited for this video. Here we go. This video is sponsored by the Shortbox app. It's the easiest and safest way to buy and sell graded comic books online. There's a link in the description below that lets them know that I sent you. Download the app for both Apple and Android users. Download the app and start shopping today. I'm going to do some voiceover on the footage that I got from STL Comics today in St. Charles, Missouri. Here's a nice Jane Foster. I'm not going to comment on every single book, but this is a priced as marked box. As you can see in the reflection, there was a um, COA. There's a nice J. Scott Campbell. Some great books here. Like I said, I'm not going to comment on every single book, but you can see they've got a variety of new and old great stuff a lot of the stuff in these in the prices marked is pretty decent grade too as what i've found if it was a nice key and in lower grade they would price it accordingly eric does a really good job of pricing stuff accordingly another priced as marked books i skipped over to the x-men stuff they've got brand new stuff and then they've got um, books separated out by different titles or letters there's some good, uh, great, I think that's Alex Gardner, and then first appearance of Omega Red. I think this is first appearance of Sylvie, which was a hot book for a long time because of the Loki series, some Star Wars books. This might be another one of the brand new inventory. This is actually, I think, the beginning of that box. There's the first, I think that number six is the first uh, solo Thanos, so that's great stuff. After his first appearance, nice J. Scott Camp Campbell Wonder Woman cover. Future's End, once again, some nice stuff. This is the $5 box, so they've got $5 bins. This is all the brand new stuff that they haven't sorted through and put into their boxes. Nice Darth Maul stuff there. Darth Vader, probably Inquisitor stuff in there. Charles Soule, I think, was... I remember reading that. It's really good stuff. So I'm just flipping through these really quick. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Here's a nice wall selection of wall books that they have at STL Comics. As you can see back on the further wall, there's more stuff. And then they've got cases of slabs. They've got boxes of slabs. Lots and lots of incredible stuff. I love that um, Deadpool, J. Scott Campbell cover. Some really good new and vintage stuff. My son was there because he wanted the Marvel Legends stuff. And I knew they had a nice selection of new and old Marvel Legends. And sometimes uh, they have had the... Really, really good deals on the Marvel Legends all the time, actually. As you can see, here's some nice DC. I think that's McFarlane stuff. Wrestling stuff, if you like that. These retro carded figures. Here's some of the vintage X-Men stuff. I like that Bucky. And here's the figures that my son picked out. He picked out this U.S. Agent. Really cool figure. $8. Brand new in box. Really nice figure. like that one a lot. Then you've got the Captain America Sam Wilson. For 10 bucks, brand new in box, never been opened. I wanted to film these outside because I knew my son was dying to rip these things open. And then he got this Baron Zemo, once again, $10. Really great stuff. Some of the vintage stuff is a little bit more expensive, but really well priced. And I picked up one book. I was going to pick up the first appearance of Superboy Prime again because it was the first book that I saw when I'm going through those prices marked. I was thinking to myself, I do not probably need like a fourth or fifth copy of that book, even though I love that book. It's one of my favorite characters in DC. But I did pick up for $35, what if, number 10, what if Jane Foster had found the hammer of Thor? So this is the first appearance of Jane Foster as Thor in comic books. And I thought this was really cool. It's a nice mid-grade probably 5.5, 6.0, needs a press and a cleaning. But other than that, you know, it's got some spine issues going on. It's got some stuff up here going on, but it's it presents really nicely. It's a great book, $35. I've got some data here, 9.8 sell for $750, 9.6 is $290, 5.5 sell for $120, slabbed of course, 5.0 is 100 bucks. So this would have, even like 2.5 sell for $85. So this is a great book, 
great price. I've never owned this one before. I, I've been looking at a couple copies and they've just always been a little bit more than what I wanted to spend for $35. There's the price sticker from STL Comics. For $35, I thought I can't go wrong. I've I've wanted this for a long time. And now that the movie spec hype is down on this book, it's the time to buy for me. So that's what I'm going to be doing this year is buying a lot of great keys, no matter if there's movie spec. Uh, heck, I might even call them foundational comic books. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, hopefully you guys are doing well. Happy New Year's to everybody. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. If you're in the St. Louis area, I'm not sponsored by STL Comics at all. Just great shop. And they work so incredibly hard to have great stuff available for their buyers, for their customers. And they do a great job of pricing their inventory so that they'll move inventory. They don't wanna sit on their stuff. They make great deals. I saw four people in there selling stuff either for trade or trying to sell it for cash. And they're buying, they're constantly buying so that they'll have new inventory, everything from Pokemon figures, vintage figures, toys, magazines. It's, it's incredible. Comic books, graded comic books, statues, Marvel Legends. This place is insane. And I showed you about a quarter of what they have. They have almost probably a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand books on their showroom floor. Place is crazy. Would you guys give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought if you've ever been to STL Comics, let me know if you've been there. If if you go there, let them know that I sent you. So hopefully you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you all in the next one. See ya, bye.